Hey folks, and welcome back to KKR Renewables Metal Recovery Channel. We're going to continue today with our review of the Delta Pro Ultra. And um, I, I don't really have a, a planned agenda for these reviews for the Ultra. I'm just trying to share my experience along my journey with the Ultra. And what I've got is I'm looking today at 100% charge. My input is down to zero. My output is currently at zero. And I'm doing this because I noticed... Uh, middle of last week, maybe, that just something seemed off to me. My uh, charging amount seemed like it was too low, and my output amount seemed like it wasn't uh, impacting the percent change in the battery like I just expected that it should. So I have decided to go ahead and just kind of recalibrate, restart, and start over with doing some tests. So today... Um, I'm sitting here with 100%, and the way I got here was I charged from solar my entire week. I only get about 4 kilowatts at a max for the entire week, and this past week we had cloudy days, So, uh, and on some days I only get up to 2 kilowatts worth of, worth of power. Um, so what I've got here is um, it, it's taken me all week to, to completely charge the Delta Pro Ultra, I have a Delta Pro Ultra with three batteries. Each battery is six kilowatts approximately. So it should be somewhere around 18 kilowatts. Um, if I tap on the little chart here and I'll look at how much I'm charging. So today I charged this much, um, 517 watts. And then I hit 100% and all the charging stopped because the charge controller stops trying to charge the battery when it gets to 100%. But if I look back at yesterday, I apparently hit 100% yesterday also, so I only got 378 watts. Previous day, I had 3.2. Day before that, I had 2.57. Day before that, I had 4.43. Day before that, I had 2. Point eight one. All right. So, what I'm what I'm trying to determine is what's the actual battery capacity of these batteries, because I don't quite understand how I could go from yesterday morning at six fifty seven a.m. fifty nine almost sixty percent, as you see here on the picture here. I don't see how I could go from. I, because I don't see how I could go from 59%, as you see here in the picture, to 100% during the day by only charging 378 watts. So something's wrong, but I don't know what exactly is wrong. I know I have questioned in the past the... Delta Pro Ultra re um, reporting the battery balancing. My batteries are all sitting at 100% according to this app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put load on this. I'm going to unplug or turn off the the, the solar charging, and I'm going to do that by switching the 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 solar uh, charging switch on the right hand side to the off position. I'm not going to unplug anything. I'm just going to leave everything plugged in. Um, it's got no AC charging on it now, um, but I'm going to I'm going to leave everything plugged in. But I am going to flip the the emergency off switch for solar, and then I'm going to plug in my load. My load is approximately uh, uh, 80, 90 kilowatts over the night, evening hours and approximately 250 on average watts during the day. Sometimes that increases if we watch more television, if we play more Xbox, something along those lines. But um, it's not, the, the, the point of, of why I'm mentioning this is it's not a huge load. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna do that and I will be back to videoing and talking in just a moment. All right, folks, I'm back. What I've done is I have plugged in a wattage consumption tool that will record over the day what my output is uh, from the Delta Pro Ultra. And I have turned off 
my, my solar input charging, power on the AC devices, and I'm going to do that by toggling the, the AC output from the app, which will communicate with the Delta Pro Ultra. I've done that, and what we should see is we should see now our AC output increase, which we, we did. Uh, started off at when it started recognizing it, it recognized it at 117 watts. It's slowly climbing to 218, 250. Um, so, so our screen um, here in our app is showing that, that we are now consuming 236 watts steadily. And I have no solar input. If I look at the batteries, they're all 100% charged. And uh, as you can see here in the app, I have no, I have no solar input coming in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the Delta Pro Ultra for, I don't know, the next several days uh, until uh, the batteries are down to 20% or so. And I'm going to use my application from the uh, meter that I have. Let me flip over here and show you what that looks like. All right, so now what we see here is I have active power of 198 watts being recorded in my, in my meter. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset that meter now. All right, we've reset the energy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record the the amount of energy, you know, with this with this device that is being output from the uh, from the Delta Pro Ultra, and uh, we'll see we'll see how long this battery lasts. Um, one thing I will say is, while the AC inverter is on. I noticed that I consumed without without any without any load on it whatsoever what looked like about 10% of the battery discharged um, I'm assuming just by having the AC inverter turned on so we're going to measure that next because I really want to I really want to figure that out also you see here at 7:24 in the evening we were sitting at 47%. And if I look at the information, that's September 18th at 7.24 p.m. If I come over here to the evening, Thursday, September 19th at 8.16 in the, in the morning, overnight for those 12-hour period, I lost 1%. So 1% of what is what I'm trying to figure out. I don't really know. 1% of 18 kilowatts is 180 watts. So that's not so bad. And I'm assuming that it's losing 180 watts when it's not doing anything is because it's got um, probably a resistive battery balancing algorithm to where it just burns off energy from the batteries that are out of balance so that it can balance the batteries that way. All right, you see here 6.36 p.m. September 19th. I am at 60%. And Friday morning, again, at 6.57 a.m., I am at 50%. So we're consistently losing the same percentage each day. But again, that's with no AC load. Let's go back to our screen where we're showing the AC load. AC output is steadily at 188, somewhere around 200 watts. That is confirmed with the, the power socket measuring device that I've, I've got plugged in as well. So we're gonna let this we're gonna let this run for a few days until the battery discharges completely, and we will get a recording on the on the device that I have plugged in as to how much electricity was actually used and how much electricity passed through it. 
this is plugged directly into the Delta Pro Ultra, so we can we can measure um, directly from the socket. There's no power loss from the uh, from any power cords or extension cables or anything along those lines, as it's plugged directly into the Delta Pro Ultra. All right, we'll be back when that's done. And I wanted to show one more thing here when I turn the television on, because the Delta Pro Ultra is powering the television in my office where I do all of my KKR renewable videos, we can see that the power output has now jumped up a little bit for the inrush current. And the power on, you know, being measured by the power socket device is also showing an increased power output. So this is pretty much uh, as much as I'll be using during the day, mostly, um, unless I turn on one of the additional devices that's in the room, um, I can, I can kind of count on burning through maybe 300 watts an hour during the day and approximately 90, 95, maybe 100 watts during the evening. All right, that's it for now. We start our test at 921 at 12, 12 p.m. with 100% state of charge. 12 hours into the test, we're remaining 83% charge. Looking at the battery balancing between the lowest and the highest state of charge is about 5% difference in the batteries. And we've used about 2.25 kilowatts of energy per the power socket. 20 hours into the test, we've got 76% remaining. Our battery balancing still shows about 5% difference between the top and the bottom balanced batteries. 32 hours into the test, we have about 62% remaining. Looking at the battery balancing, we're getting closer to having the same percentage state of charge on each battery. We've used 4.8 kilowatt hours, so let's do some math. 18,000 watt total capacity system. We've got 62% remaining, so we're gonna multiply 18,000 times 0.62, and we get 11,100. Well, hold on, we only used 4.8 kilowatts. Looks like we're missing about two kilowatts of power. Where are they? 42 hours into the test, we are at 41% remaining capacity. Battery balancing is holding. There's about three or 4% difference in each one of the batteries. We've used about 6.67 kilowatt hours of, of energy. 51 hours into the test, 27% remaining. Looking at the battery balancing, we're about 4% between the top and the bottom balanced batteries. Let's do some more math. Now it's looking like we're missing maybe 2.8 kilowatt hours. I'm gonna to try to figure out where those 2.8 kilowatt hours are. 56 hours into the test, we have 18% remaining. Battery balancing is holding up pretty well. Now we're within 1% of the top and the bottom batteries. So additional math looks like 5.4 kilowatt is seems to be missing. Here we are at 4%. Looking at 4%, we've got 1% difference in the battery balancing. We've used a total of 11.2 kilowatts per the power socket meter. Down at 1% state of charge. Let's go ahead and explore some other options here. So we're gonna go into the menu items and we're gonna look at the detail of the, of the AC output. And we see here that um, here are all the sockets that are being powered right now. I suspect this is where all the excess energy is going. Um, to go ahead and do all those power conversions so each socket is energized. Looks like uh, the first two sockets are linked together as they have the exact same voltage output. The next one, two, three, four seem to be all linked together as well. That is um, two AC 20 amp output sockets and the three pole 30 amp socket. I think those are those three rather are tied together. The last four pole socket is 240 volts, definitely on its own circuit, and it's 240 volts at 30 amps. So I definitely think the DC to AC conversion for all these uh, six sockets is the reason we're losing a significant amount of kilowatts per day. It just takes a lot of energy to, to energize these sockets 24 hours a day. I really wish that Delta Pro Ultra allows you to turn individual sockets off and on. Like I said earlier, I would really love to have my ability to uh, power each socket on or off with its own little relay. 
Let's flip back over here and go to some additional settings. Maybe we can see something in the settings that's causing the additional power consumption. I'm really thinking maybe this, I don't know if this battery preconditioning, you see that blue toggle right here. I don't know if that, uh, if that heating of the batteries for preconditioning is 100% temperature regulated or if it's just always kind of heating the batteries. I do know the batteries run at a much warmer temperature than the office where I'm keeping them. So that might be some of the, the, the loss as well. We'll do an additional test in the future to try to figure that out. So I'm gonna play with additional settings here. What is this home page style? Uh, oh, I can set a different home page. Oh, uh, I like this view. So let me go back, let me start over. Like I'm just gonna go into the application fresh. Yes, I like this view. It's showing a top, uh, at the top of it, there's a bar that's showing time remaining in the battery. Battery's almost exhausted, so um, I can see that I've got 48 minutes of runtime left. It's showing me the input, which is sitting at zero. I'm just gonna click over to the output now. It's showing 194 watts output. It's got an active graph. Um, you can see the graph advancing underneath the output numbers. Uh, you can see the AC port is showing that it's on and it's showing 194 watts output, 197 watt output. And you can see that the only plug that is that is enabled, well, not enabled, the only plug that has um, power attached to it is the first AC output. So um, I'm assuming if I had anything else plugged into the other ports that they would all light up and I could see port by port how much power I was consuming. This is pretty neat. I had no idea this thing even existed. I really like this. I'm gonna continue to play with this a little bit. I went out and came back in, 32 minutes left on the battery. Let's see, there's a chart here. Can I see, oh man, I can see the output by day. I see September 25th's output was 704 watts. Um, looks like you can go day, week, month output. So I've been plugged in. Let's see if I can see a different day. Look at that. Previous day, previous day, previous day, previous day the 21st, all the way back to when I started the test. Let's see if we can do some math here. Clear that out. Two, five, four. Uh, uh, what am I typing? Um, let me clear this out. Uh, 2.54 plus next day. 4.61 plus next day 3.74 next day 3.69 next day 704 uh, four, oh uh, what am I what am I typing in? I'm excited to oh no, that's not right. Let's try to fix it. No, no. Uh it's not gonna work. Alright, let's go back and start over. Um yeah, uh, and the battery just died. Okay, I'll have to try this again the next day. Um we'll get some charge on this and try this again. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I want to be able to run through the the charts and I want to add all the, the times up and see if it equals to the power socket. We'll be back when I'm charged a little bit. All right, so since I just found that, I thought it was pretty cool, I thought I would go back in here in the morning and check out this, this new display. Um, as we can see here, um, we are charging the Delta Pro Ultra. It is charging from solar. I'm showing my real-time power output here. Um, this is input, rather. Um, all right, so I wanna go over to this output again because I think this is really interesting. I want to click on output and I notice that the AC ports are still powered on. There's no point in having that powered on. <clears throat> I've got nothing plugged into it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Right. So now we won't be converting the DC into AC power and it will charge faster and just won't waste any, any, any of the energy. 
But I do want to go in here and check out how much power the device thinks it used while we were doing our test. So let's go here and check out the calculator. 818 watts plus 3,690 watts plus 3,740 watts 4,610 watts plus and so you see here um, the the test started right around noon uh, so that matches up with what we had before so that's 2,040 watts for a total of 15,398 watts for a system that has a rating of 18,000 watts right off the bat looks like we're losing about two and a half thousand watts um, not sure if that is if the device is measuring uh, output from all of these output devices um, and including the, the the conversion from DC to AC for all of these devices. Um, as we showed earlier in the in the lab portion, uh, you could see clearly that there were multiple that, that all these these AC power outputs ports were indeed converting power. I really wish uh, EcoFlow would allow you to turn those on and off. I wish each one of those had its own little relay and I would and I could turn off whatever ports I was not using. Uh, I'd like to do that, of course, to I think that would help conserve power. Um, probably not a lot, but it might help conserve some. I also assume that we lose some power um, while we're doing our battery balancing. It's just unfortunate that it seems to be such a significant amount two and a half kilowatts of power over the course of you know five days or so um, seems like an awful lot of energy loss. Don't know if uh, EcoFlow can do anything about that or not, but um, that would be my wish if they could. All right, that's it for this segment. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any insight as to why the power consumption by the DPU is so high, please be sure to drop a comment and let us know. I really appreciate your view and all of your comments. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.